Okay, question eight, and they are um, looking at a scatter graph in this question on the practice paper. So let's have a look at what's going on. So we've got to plot this. We've got to draw a scatter graph, so we've got to put this information on. Now we have to be careful. Let's check the squares first. Five little squares goes to 0 0.5. So each one must be 0 0.1 going across. And going up, five, ten, each one little square is 0 0.1 again, or is 10 pence going up. So we've got to be really careful about what's going on. So we have to plot these, and we have to plot them as accurately as we possibly can. Okay, now I know on sometimes on the photocopy or printout, these squares haven't come up properly. In your real exam, the paper will come out. Um, it will be perfect for you, and it will be big size, so it should be quite clear to do. But you just have to follow how it goes. So 1.8, which is 1.6, 1.7, 1.8, squares above here. Um, we've got to go to 90 pence, which is just one square below one pound. So put a point there. At 2.1, we've got to go to 80 pence. 2.1, one little square, 50, 60, 70, three squares above. At 2.2, We've got to go to one pound fifty. That's a nice easy one because it's on the line. Uh, two point five goes to one point six. It's almost easy. It's just one square above. Three point two. So a little bit of a gap. One square. Two little squares up. I got to go to two pounds exactly. It might be worth actually just ticking them off to so you remember where you are. I've gone one, two, three, four, five. So I've just done that one. 3.7 goes all the way up to £2.20. So that's £2, £2.10, £2.20. £4, sorry, 4 miles goes to £2.40. 4 miles goes to £2.40. 4.6 miles, that's over here, goes all the way up to two pounds and ninety so three pounds and back ten pence and five point eight goes to three pounds twenty five point five five point five point eight so a bit of a gap goes to three pounds ten goes like that and then the last one is six point four which is just one to the left of this line goes to three pounds forty so it's just there and it's only worth two marks, and it's, you have to be really careful and really delicate about this. So you need to, one, you need to do it in pencil, and two, so you can rub out any mistakes. Um, because if you start crossing out mistakes, you can't really tell what's across and what's crossing out, and it comes very messy. So it must be done in pencil. And I suggest you sharpen your pencil, have a nice little sharp pencil, so you can be accurate. Now we've got to do this thing where it says, estimate the cost of a bus journey of length five miles. So we're going to go up at five miles and kind of guess where most of the information is and then go across. So the best way to do that is actually to draw some kind of line of best fit. And draw a line of best fit. If you just get your ruler and you basically you need to kind of twizzle your ruler around and kind of line it up. It takes a little bit of doing and you want to kind of try and split the points follow the information and you want to try and split the point so I reckon something about there and if I try and draw this now in red I reckon my line of best fit should look something like that so let's move that out of the way yeah and I've got maybe it should just be a tad lower just about there so I've got a couple of points just above it and a couple of points just below it, maybe even slightly tilted. And I'm, I can do this luckily. Maybe something like that. I can do that because I can move it around. You, you have to do that with your ruler. So you kind of have to kind of put your ruler on, twist it around, and kind of get it into the right place. And you want to try and get the rules for the line of best fit, which is what I've just drawn. Oops. The rules for a line of best fit, 
and there's no really hard and fast rules. Things I'd like to think of is that you you follow the pattern. That's the most important one. So if it's going uphill, it goes up. Your line goes uphill. The second thing is that you um, you try and split. You split the points. Okay, so you try and get the same number on both sides, but the more important to follow the pattern. If it doesn't work out exactly splitting the points, or you think it goes better somewhere else, and you've got and not quite the same amount on both sides, that's okay. Okay, the first one is the most important one. Um, you should do something else as well. In this case, there wasn't, but sometimes you get some points that are, aren't don't follow the rest of the pattern, so you ignore what we call outliers or anomalies. So you ignore them, and um, and then it's kind of keep within the data. So I followed the pattern going uphill. I've split the points roughly. I've got one, two, three, four on the bottom, one, two, three, four, five on the top. So that's kind of okay. I ignored any outliers. So that's okay. It didn't apply in this case. And I kept within the data. Now that means I didn't draw my line going up here and I didn't draw my line going all the way back down here because that would be outside the data that wouldn't be within the data so let's just take that off I didn't do that because that's a bad thing so I kept my line stopped at both ends okay uh, so we're going to use that now and it says estimate the cost of a bus journey of length five miles so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my ruler I'm going to go around and I'm going to draw In fact, I'm going to do it without a ruler. I'm going to use this straight line here. So it's doing pink. I'm going to go straight up at 5. Now you can use a ruler for that. I'm going to go straight up at 5 until I hit my line. Then I'm going to go straight across here until I hit the side there. So I went up this direction from 5 and I've gone along this direction here and I'm going to read off the cost to the nearest 10 pence. And it's actually pretty much on the line. So if you go up at 5 and across, I make that £2.90. Okay, so that's going to be the cost of a bus journey uh, that's five miles long, according to our information on our line of best fit. Go back and have a look at that. It took a little while to plot the points, but it's worth going over again and again. Being accurate uh, and being neat is really important on these type of questions, and you lose marks if you're not.